Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Catalina and I slack at making YouTube videos. So I'm just being honest. But um, I wanted to make this video for you guys since it's gonna be Valentine's Day. And I want you guys to be able to achieve a nice, sultry, romantic look without having to feel like you have to do this over-the-top glam look um, it's not that hard you guys can create this with simple colors um, of course I kind of went in but I hope you guys enjoy this video we left the lips nice and nude with a nice gloss to not make it really too much about this whole red um, that everybody does for Valentine's Day and I kind of kept it more on that soft look so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump into the video. I hope this is focused nicely. I try today. So I'm gonna prep my under eye and I actually have a little sample here from Sephora. So this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Cream. So I'm gonna put some of this. This cream, under eye cream, feels really nice. I'm going to go ahead and use my modern renaissance palette and one of the pencils that i am in love with is this one here the laura mercier this is um the caviar stick in coco so i'm going to start with my brows lately i've been starting off with my brows i went back to soft ochre from mac i actually like to use this to also just outline the bottom part of the brows. Now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that in taupe. The 7B brush, I love this brush to use with the Dip Brow, just because I feel like it's nice and thin and sharp. I'll comb my hairs up. So I'll comb the brows up just because I like how that look looks and I like to start in the beginning I don't know why and just kind of create hair like strokes all right so I'm gonna just fill this in I'm gonna fill in the other one and we're gonna start with our eyes so we'll go back to the brows we're gonna start with eyeshadow and now that I have my lids nice and primed so I'm going to go ahead and apply it really close to the lash line. So I'm going to kind of smoke this out. And then I'll put a little bit of shadow over it. Although, you don't really need like so much shadow. Alright, so I went ahead and did that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to smudge this. The brush that I'm going to use is my new one from Morphe. They actually sell these at Ulta now. Um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys saw me showing you guys these. I was super, super excited. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bring it up and kind of just feather it up. And since there's some products on here, I'm also going to take it down the bottom lash line because we're going to create that nice smoky effect and then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it in with my finger so you see right now it looks nice and subtle right now if I open my eye it looks like I have eyeshadow on well I do have eyeshadow but it looks like I have eyeshadow on my whole lid and I'm blending down when I'm blending with my finger just to kind of keep that within the lash line and like kind of halfway the lid not really all the way up. so i just went ahead and applied a little bit more again by the lash line and i'm going to just blend it out really intensely by the lash line not really going to move this brush up anymore and then just take my finger and blend it downwards towards the lashes so the concentration of this color kind of stays there like that and then we're going to deepen it up later on so now I want a transition color, um, a nice crease color. So I'm gonna also take my nice fluffy crease brush from 
Morphe because I want to go ahead and just use these brushes today. And I'm going to go into my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to use the shade Buen, uh, bon, bon Fresco. Oh, yes, yeah, that's what it's called. So I'm going to use that one. Take a little bit of that. Always tapping the access off. So this is just going to give this look a nice pink tone to it. And then I'm going to go over it with Tempera, which is, Tempera is a little bit more of that nude eyeshadow. So something that's a little bit more nude. So I'm going to go in right now with that. Tempera is really light, so I'm going to just go over top of it. And then I'll go back in with that cream stick eyeshadow because I kind of made it. Actually, no, I'm going to go back in with a brown shadow over that cream. I just really wanted to lighten this tempera. I'm going to take from my um, Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions, I'm actually going to take the third color from the second row, which is this one right here. So it's a little bit more pigmented, pigmented, and it has a little bit more of that pink. So I'll just pop that into the crease right here and add that nice pink. I don't know if you guys can see. So now I'm going to go in with, because this is taking me to a different direction, I actually want to smoke this out. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia brush that comes with the palette. And I'm going to use Cypress um, Umber, which is this nice deep brown. And I'm going to take some in the nice fluffy end side of it. Actually, I'll take some first on the most domed side uh, just to kind of press this color. Always tap the access off. And I'm going to go ahead and push it onto where the... we. Put the cream shadow and then I'm going to take the other side and just blend it and I'm going to blend it up just to bring that deepness into the lid and giving it that softness so I'm not really going too crazy as far as the intensity so again just patting with whatever is left on the brush and then buffing with the other opposite side. I'm loving this. So now that I blended and I did that, I'm gonna just go ahead and blend upwards towards the crease just so I can marry these two eyeshadows. And so that transition looks really nice and precise. Vermeer, which is this shade right here, nice, um, a nice highlight shade. So I'm gonna take the pencil brush and for, again from the Morphe a set that I got at Ulta and I'm going to apply that at the arch of the brow just because that's where I want more most of the intensity to go I want it to really lift my brow and that I actually want to go back into this pink color here just a little bit more Tap the axis off and Add a little bit more color to the crease. Just so that pink doesn't hide. And then kind of blend it up. Alright, so now that we have that, I can go ahead and kind of clean the under eye. So all I'm going to do is just take a tissue. And I'm going to go ahead and... Just clean the bottom. If I had any fallout, you can take a makeup wipe. I just don't have any makeup wipes right now. I didn't really have too much fallout, which, thank God. So now we're going to go into, wait, before that, let's add a little bit of black shadow. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Ultimate, I mean, um, Naked Basics, and I'm going to take the this brush right here which is again the eyeliner brush and I'm gonna take Crave which is the darkest color which is black 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna go into the lash line and just wiggle the brush just to get that nice outline so it looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow um, eyeliner but in reality it's eyeshadow so what that does is just it makes it look a little bit softer and it also allows for your lashes to look nice and full. I will be looking this way just because I want to see what I'm doing. I have my beauty blenders. Well, not my beauty blenders. I actually have my Real Technique sponges here. Make up forever. Hydrating sick. So what I'm going to do is just draw some lines here. I love how my stick matches. Do you guys see this? Like unevenness right here. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever stick today just because I want that dewiness. I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe brush flat foundation uh, brush and I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out. Wow. This brush feels super soft. So I heard so many good reviews about this but I had never, ever, ever had a Morphe brush until now that I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques blender really quickly and just kind of give it a little bit of that pounce, pounce, pounce blending just to make sure that everything looks nice and blended. With my shape tape, I use a light medium. And I love this. This is my second one, I believe. I just like to apply it wherever I need it. So I like to do the inner part, kind of inner corner of my eyes. I don't do the whole shebang that everybody does because I feel that less of this is more. I'm more of that dry skin, um, like dry combination. So I don't really feel like I should be putting too much of this product because it does dry in a mat. So I'm going to go ahead this on and then you guys already know I love to bronze my skin up so I'm gonna definitely do that so I'm gonna go ahead and bake and I don't do this all the time but just for the purpose of looking extra glam we're gonna go ahead and just do that and take a little bit here and then I know some people bake their smile lines I did that one time and I like the outcome. <laughs> Yo, this looks so funny. So this is the first time I'm ever gonna contour with this Morphe contour brush. I usually like the IT, the it Cosmetics brush, it's dual ended. I think you guys have seen it in a previous video, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the, try this because I'm using all the Morphe brushes. I think they're, um, so far they're pretty good. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. Cause I like a more dense brush, so I'm, I'm like going in. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. I'm going to dust everything off. And so now I'm gonna take my contour brush in and then just make sure I'm as contoured as I wanna be. This is, I think this is like the powder brush, but I'm gonna use it to bronze up the skin cause I already, um, use that big powder brush from Real Techniques because I like that one to kind of just blend it all out. And then I do like to go a little bit over the nose and with whatever is left. So the highlight that I'm going to use today is the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molted Golden number 100. I'm going to use their fan brush. I'm not really big on fan brushes to be honest for highlight. But let's give this a go. I love this highlighter. It's like too big for my face. All right, I had to wait for my camera to cool down for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray my face. I haven't put on my blush or anything. So I like to use the Moisture Surge Face Spray from Clinique. I'm gonna put a little bit of just a little tissue here. Like my girl Brianna says, we gonna take a bath. 
everything look a little bit more like skin. And so we're gonna take the pink that we added to the crease, put it right underneath my lashes. So you want the motion you want to do with this is actually go like this. So side to side, and I'm going to concentrate it on the outer corner and actually connect it to the other ones that we had just to create that nice roundness. You guys can actually even create this look just with the Mauve's Obsession palette. I don't know why I even think of that to make it easier for you guys, but you would just use the darker eyeshadow as the shadow that I have on here, and then you would just um, use a lighter shade. I go into Crave, that's that black, and we're gonna take this flat brush again and tap the excess off as always. You never want super fallout. And I'm gonna go ahead and really get up and under the lashes. Like I lifted the lashes a little bit and really get up and under. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on off camera and let the camera cool down for a little bit and come back and we're gonna put blush and lipstick. Eyes are done. We have the lashes on. This is the eye look. We're gonna put a little bit of blush on is a nice set of um, three blushes so what I'm gonna do is actually gonna take the last one because it has that nice peachy tone to it and it still has a little bit of pink and I'm gonna take it onto this nice angular brush tap the axis off smile and I just want to get the apples of my cheek here and just kind of always come out so smile and then bring out so that's like an old school trick where if you bring it up a little bit, it gives you that lifted um, look. If you want your lips to look a little bit fuller, all you have to do is just put a little bit of lip liner and just line your lips. They'll, it'll make it look a lot fuller. So for example, I have this one from Bite and this is the number 20. And all I do is just line the bottom and this is a nude to create the illusion of a bigger pout. And we're all done. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you guys really found it informative and let me know if you guys create this look. I want to send you guys lots of kisses and please leave it in the comments down below if you guys want more videos or if you wanna see a, another Valentine's Day look. Um, I will be working on more looks for you guys, so stay tuned. You guys on Instagram, on Snapchat. I usually post more Instagram, more beauty stuff on Instagram, so go ahead and do that. Please subscribe if you guys want to subscribe. And like this video if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it, and maybe the next video that I make you will like, so don't forget to actually hit that subscribe button and the little bell, just so it can notify you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.